Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss one numerical which is related to concepts of compound gear train. Compound gear train is a gear train which generally used for transmission of power from one shaft to another shaft with the help of compound gears. Compound gears where two gears are mounted on same shaft. <music> So let's start the numerical which is related to concept of compound gear train and the numerical is a compound gear train contain compound gears B and C and D and E. All gears are mounted on parallel shafts. The motor shaft rotating at 800 rpm is connected to gear A and output is taken at gear E. The number of teeth on gear A, B, C, D, E are 25, 58, 32, 84, 34 respectively. Determine the speed of parallel shaft on which gear D and E are mounted. So this is our numerical. So as per the numerical, we have this diagram. So this is the diagram of compound gear train where number of gears are involved which are used for the transmission of power from driving gear to driven gear or from driving shaft to driven shaft with the help of compound gears. So here we have two compound gears gear B and gear C and gear D and gear E which is getting the motion from this particular gear A. So this gear A we are considering as a driving gear. So let's read the numerical again to find out the given values and given condition. So here it is given a compound gear train contain compound gear BC and DE. So as per this we have two gears compound gears BC and DE in this diagram. All gears are mounted on the parallel shaft. So in compound gear we consider two gears which is mounted on a same shaft. So gear B and C will mount on a same shaft and gear D and E is mounted on a same shaft. And one more gear we have that is gear A that is called the driving gear. So it is mounted also on one shaft. So all the shafts are arranged parallelly. It is given here. It is mounted on parallel shaft. All the gears are mounted on the parallel shaft. Now motor rotating at 800 rpm or the motor shaft it is given. It is rotating at 800 rpm and it is connected to gear A. So this particular gear A is connected with the motor shaft and that motor shaft speed is given it is 800 rpm. So the speed of the gear A will be same it will be equal to 800 rpm only. So as per that we can say this gear A is the driving gear. Now let's see another condition and output is taken at gear E. So this gear A is in meshing condition with gear B of the compound gear. So in whatever direction this gear A will move, opposite direction we will consider for gear B. So in clockwise direction if we are taking, this gear A is moving. So in anti-clockwise direction this gear B will move with particular speed. Speed will not be equivalent. But here this gear C is mounted on a same shaft of gear B. So the speed and the direction of the gear C will be equivalent to the speed and the direction of the gear B because this is a compound gear. And this gear C is in meshing condition with another gear of the compound gear D and E. So it is in meshing condition with gear D. So in whatever direction this gear C is moving or rotating opposite to that this gear D will rotate. So this gear D is getting the motion or direction from gear C and this gear D is in compound with gear E. This gear D and gear E are the compound gear and gear D and gear E are mounted on the same shaft. So in whatever direction this gear D is rotating in same direction this gear E will rotate with same speed because both gears are mounted on the same shaft. So the speed of the gear D and E will same and speed of gear B and gear C will same. In that case here in case of compound gears the speed of both the gear which are in compound condition we consider same. So this condition we have. 
number of teeth of gear A, B, C, D and E is given and here driving gear we are considering gear A and driven gear is gear E and number of teeth are given for each and every gear A, B, C, D and E it is 25, 58, 32, 84, 34 respectively. So for this particular condition we have to determine the speed of the parallel shaft on which gear D and gear E are mounted. In short, we have to determine the speed of the gear D and gear E because the speed of the shaft will be equivalent to speed of the gear D and gear E because this gear D and E is mounted on the same shaft and it is in compound condition. So both gear will have same speed as the speed of the shaft. So this speed we have to determine. So let's start the solution. So let's consider number of teeth of gear A, B, C and D it is given. So number of teeth on gear A, TA is 25. Number of teeth on gear B, TV is 58. Number of teeth on gear C, TC is 32. Number of teeth on gear D, TD is 84. Number of teeth on gear E, TE is 34. So here we have these number of teeth on each gear. And let us consider the speed of each and every gear. For gear A, I am taking speed NA. For gear B, NB. Speed of gear C is NC. Speed of gear D is ND. And speed of gear E is NE. And all the speed we are considering in RPM, in revolution per minute. Now, if we want to define the condition of speed ratio, so that condition we only define on the basis of meshing condition. So as per the diagram, meshing condition is only possible between A and B and C and D because here BC are the compound gear and DE is also the compound gear. So only one gear can be in contact with another gear. So gear A that is the driving gear it is in meshing condition with gear B. So the speed ratio for this condition we can define as speed ratio train value we can define on the basis of this ratio of speed and the ratio of number of teeth. So the relation for the meshing condition of gear A with gear B, it will be defined by NB by NA that is equals to TA by TB. Let's consider this equation as equation 1. Now for the second meshing condition, when gear C is in meshing with gear D. So the equation on that basis we can define as ND by NC that is equals to TC by TD for the condition when gear C is in meshing condition with gear D. So this particular equation we are taking as equation 2. Now here we have a compound gear train. So for this compound gear train the speed ratio for this meshing condition will be the multiplication of these two equation, equation 1 and equation 2. So as per the concept of compound gear train, so this equation we have NB by NA into ND by NC that is equals to TA by TD into TC by TD. So here we will solve this equation here as per the compound gear where gear B and gear C are the compound gear. So these two gear are situated or mounted over a same shaft. So the speed of gear B and gear C will be equivalent. So here in speed concept we can write down here. NB equivalent to NC. Similarly D and E are also mounted on the same shaft. So speed of both the gears will be same. So ND will be equivalent to NE. So as per this concept, this NB and NC will cancel out because these two speeds are same. So the ratio will be So here we have this ratio ND by NA that is equals to TA by TB into TC by TD. Now we have to determine this speed ratio. So we will put 
the value of number of teeth which we already have the values are given ta tb tc and td so these values we will write down here so ta we have 25 tc is 32 tb is 58 and td is 84 we will simplify this term so the ratio of speed nd by na from this equation we have 0.164 so we have to define the speed of the driven shaft over which the gear d and gear e is mounted so here we can define the speed of gear d so we can easily define the speed of the driven shaft and we already have the value of na na is representing the speed of the motor shaft so speed of the motor shaft is generally representing the speed of the driving gear. So NA value we already have 800 RPM. So we will put that value here. So with the help of this equation ND will be 0.164 into 800 and the solution of this nd it will be 131.38 rpm so the speed of the gear d we have 131.38 rpm in that case the speed of the gear e will also same and the speed of the gear d and the gear e is same that is equivalent to speed of the driven shaft here we have to determine the speed of the parallel shaft on which gear d and gear e is mounted so this is a compound gear and whatever the speed we are considering for gear d and gear e it will be same and it will be equivalent to the speed of the shaft over which this gear d and gear e is mounted So ND will be equals to NE that is equals to speed of the parallel shaft on which gear D and gear E is mounted. So it will be 131.38 only. So this is the solution of this numerical which is related to compound gear train. Thank you so much.